That means as of today, I have a $1,744.34 gain, which is 132.08% gain on air products and chemicals in just one month. Hey guys, um, we started the this week's option pick series, or I should say, I started the this week's option pick series a couple of months ago. So I wanted to go through our results of this week's option picks and take a look at how we've done since the series has started and where it's moved to to this point. So we know when when I started this series, the first option pick that I put out was the SPY. And it was not a, a call option on a SPY. It was a put option. And the reason for that was because the S&P 500 was moving down that week. And I wanted to put a protective put for my portfolio. But in the end of the week, it started to move back up anyway. It was t starting to go towards the point of taking a loss. So I bought that put on January 3rd. I bought it for $974.66. I sold it five days later on January 8th for $977.33. So it was just a slight gain of $2.67 or 0.27%. Now the next option that I purchased for this week's option puts, and for those of you who are familiar with the series, in this week's option, um, in this week's um, options, I'm sorry, in, in this week's option picks I'm not only showing you the screenshots of what I bought but I actually dropped those videos either the same day or the next day so that you have the opportunity to buy those same options and experience some of the same gains in any event the second option I picked was Hershey Company I bought it on January 8th for $1,236.66. The reason it costs so much is because I'm buying long-term options three or four months out. And I'm buying them at the strike price. So in Hershey's example, it was a May 17th expiration with a $190 strike price. I sold it on January 11th, three days later, for $1,049.33, and also put out a video letting you guys know that you should sell it as well. In that case, I took a loss, $187.33, or 15.14% loss. Next one I bought was UUP. And for those not familiar, UUP is the US dollar index. I bought 10 call options, nine for $99, nine for $950 and 94 cents and the 10th one, the last one for $99.66. I spent approximately $1,050 on those 10 call options. I sold them. I bought them on the 12th. I sold them six days later on the 18th for reasons concerning the bid price that I didn't like. I sold them for $1,263 and 36 cents. That was a $212.76 gain or a 20.25% gain in six days. 
The next option I bought on January 23rd was Young China Holdings. Those unfamiliar with Young China Holdings, there's a Young Brands in America. Young Brands is the parent company for KFC, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut. Well, I believe Young China Holdings is a subsidiary which is in China of KFC, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, and other restaurants. In any event, I bought on January 23rd an a uh, Yum China Holdings call option expiring on July 19th and with a $35 strike price. It cost me $953.32. I sold it on February 9th, a few weeks later it seems, for $1,338.66. That was a $385.34 gain, or a 40.42% gain in a few weeks. Now, an opportunity came up to get Humana. I didn't have the money available in my options account or my brokerage account at the time. But even though I didn't have that money available, I did let you guys know about it. So that if you had the money available, you would have been able to buy it. Not only did I let you guys know about it, I did have enough money available in my account, including margin, to buy a few shares of it. So that same morning, I bought seven shares of Humana. Right? I didn't just tell you guys about it, but I'm not going to do it myself. I bought seven shares of it. In any event, Humana went back down, but before it went down, it went up. And for any who bought it, there was a later video that I put out, which you can see if you go through the playlist for this week's option picks, where you could have made up to, depending on if you sold at the bid price or the mint price, you could have made $530 or 20% on your options pick in about a week's time or 50% which would be $1,325. Since that time Humana has fallen again, it may be presenting another opportunity. We're watching it. Air products and chemicals. As of today, we're not even at a month yet. I believe we're, this is March 7th. I believe it's March 7th. And air products and chemicals, we bought the option or I bought the option and whoever else would have heeded my advice and taken advantage of it because I always drop the videos. Air products and chemicals. You see the screenshot yourself. It's up to 3,000. Where is it? $3,065 in market value. The cost basis was $1,320.66. That means as of today, I have a $1,744.34 gain, which is 132.08% gain on air products and chemicals in just one month. 
Now, I put out these YouTube videos to let you guys know about these option picks as well. However, you guys may not be experiencing some of the same results that I'm experiencing in terms of your percentages. And there's two reasons that that may be the case. And I want to let you guys know what they are. So I've taken a screenshot of an option. Here's Haymanetics Corp. You see it right here, taken from my Schwab brokerage account. You'll notice it has the stock at the top. $77.75 and up here it has a bid and an ask price. Now you're wondering why the bid and the ask is spread so far apart. It's because we're in after hours and in after hours the bid is always going to be spread far apart. But during market hours on a stock, the bid and the ass may be spread by maybe a dollar at the most or whatever, may usually very less. If it's a stock that's actively traded, it may be like two cents under the stock price for the bid, two cents over for the ass, whatever the case is. But in any event, bid and ass plays a humongous role in your trading. And the bid and ask is much further apart when it comes to options. So here's the bid and the ask for the stock. Here's the bid and the ask for the option. Now, options are always representing 100 shares of stock. What does that mean? That means if the bid price is $7.10 on the option, you have to multiply that by 100, meaning you have to move that period two spaces after the decimal. That means that if the bid price is $7.10, that means $710. If the ask price is $8.70, that means $870. So you have to be very careful when it comes to options prices. That means I may pay $870 for an option that as soon as I buy it, it's only worth $710. And why is that? That's because all I can sell it for is $710. So you have to be very careful when it comes to buying options. So when I buy my options, I want to look and see what the ask price and the bid price is. And if they're too far apart, I may not buy it. Another thing I do is I may go for the mid price. Now, some brokerages, like I haven't noticed one in Fidelity, my friend's account, but some brokerages don't have a mid price, but the mid price is really just the price between the ask and the bid. So if the brokerage doesn't have it, you can figure it out yourself. In any event, if it has a mid price, sometimes you may just put in the mid price. If you put in the ask, your order will go through immediately, immediately and immediately be filled. But if you put in the mid, you may have to wait 5, 10, 15 minutes or whatever before your order is filled. But your order may be, maybe it won't be, but most, it, it's very likely that it will be filled. 
if it's not filled, you can just go in and change it. At a later time, maybe you'll change it and put in the ass price. What I don't do is choose notice down here when you're doing your option. There's an order type. I don't choose market for the order type. If you choose market for the order type, the broker will choose what they want to buy your option at. Notice the ask price is $870. Well, that may change the last minute. And if you choose market, then the broker will just pick whatever they want. The price of the option may change to $9.50 at the last minute. And the broker may just fill your order at $950. But if you change the order type from market to limit, then you can say exactly how much you're willing to pay for. And they will not put your order through if it's over that amount. Meaning if I change the order type from market to limit and I put down $7.90, which is the mid price, the broker will only fill my order when they're able to fill it for $790. So that may be one of the reasons why you're not getting the same option results that you see that I'm getting when I buy the option. The other reason is because of the timing. And what do I mean by that? I generally put in my um, orders at two times during the day. If I'm awake when market opens and I see that a stock or an option I feel is gonna be moving up throughout the day, I'll buy it in the morning. On the other hand, if I see something's moving up and I want it, and I feel it's going to continue to move up throughout the week and beyond, I realize that a lot of times stocks make their money overnight when the market is closed. Overnight when the market is closed, People are still buying and the stock price is going up. So what I'll do is I'll wait until 10 minutes before the market closes. And then 10 minutes before the market closes, I'll put in my order to buy that stock. Now, I let you guys know about the stock right after I buy it. But generally, I do my videos very early in the morning or I'll do them at night because I need a quiet time to do that. My wife may be working during the day, so I'll wait until at night when she goes to sleep or I'll do them in the morning before she starts working. So when you guys are getting the video, it's already the next day. You don't have some of the games, some of the games that I have by the time that you buy the option. The other thing is that because it's on YouTube, you guys are busy during the week, you're working. Sometimes you don't even check in the morning to see what videos I dropped. You may not see that video until two or three days later when I put out this week's option pick or I put out videos like uh, this week's winning stocks. You guys may not see it until two or three days later. So you've missed some of the same games. So to eliminate that problem, what I have done Prior to having a YouTube channel, I was actually doing my stock picks and letting people know about them in WhatsApp. In WhatsApp, 
I can let people know immediately what's going on. I could be wherever and I can just create a WhatsApp message and send it out. And because it's WhatsApp and it chimes, you'll immediately hear it. So whether you're at work or wherever you're at, you can immediately hear it. You can check to see what I put inside of there. And then maybe whether it's during lunch or while you're sitting at your desk or whatever, you could do whatever you have to do so that you're um, getting the same kinds of results that I'm getting. I've recreated, I've created a new WhatsApp um, group, Uncle Dwayne's Watch List. And this is only for my Patreon subscribers, not YouTube. For those who are subscribed or subscribing to my Patreon group, you can email me, Uncle, Uncle Dwayne's watch list at gmail.com. You can email me with your phone number and name, and I will send an invite to you to be added to the WhatsApp group so that you will immediately be notified of the trades that I'm about to do rather than having to wait until the next day and losing some of those results. Now, the next trade I did was MGP ingredients, MGPI. I bought it, but when I bought it, an earnings report was about to drop. Realizing how dangerous earnings reports can be because they could go wrong and the stock can dramatically drop, I decided to sell it before that earnings report dropped. So I let it go just in time at a dollar and 33 cents loss or a 0.14% loss, very small. In any event, the earnings report had some bad things in it or a bad thing. And the stock dropped just as I suspected. But I thought it was going to move back up, just like air products and chemicals did. But it moved up, down, it's been going around. So I bought it on the 23rd for $735.66. And I sold it on the 27th, four days later, for $580.34. That was a $155.32 loss, or 21.11% loss. However, I bought it back at the suggestion of this week's option picks on February 28th for $860.66. I didn't like the way it was moving, so I sold it on March 6th for $927.33. That was a $66.00 and 67 cent gain or a 7.74 percent gain so i got back a little of the money i lost on mgpi or mgp ingredients now many of you guys may be saying wait a minute i don't remember him suggesting mb mgp ingredients again and that is because i suggested it in this week's option picks. However, in my YouTube channel at this time, I am only doing this month's option pick. My this week's option picks was moved into my Patreon account. And 
you can see the link for my Patreon account at the homepage for my YouTube channel, Uncle Dwayne's Watchlist. This week's option picks was moved inside of there, and it is now only $25 a month to become a member. And the first thing I put in there was that to buy MGP ingredients again. Now, I don't dollar cost average. So like I said on the previous video, timing is very important with me. Not only do I want to buy good companies, fundamentally sound companies, when it comes to stocks and options, I only buy them at a specific time. And that specific time is when they're moving up from their low price of the year, their annual low price. So if you are subscribed to my Patreon channel, please send me an email on Uncle Dwayne's watch this at gmail.com with your name and your phone number so that I can add you and send you an invite to join my WhatsApp where you can be immediately notified about opportunities with these stocks and with these options. So, speaking of this month's option picks, I put out the first this month's option pick about a couple of days ago. And that option pick was HAE, ticker symbol HAE. Now, Hymenetics. Now, the screenshot may look a little different this time. And the reason for that is, in my own brokerage account, I sold a stock to free up money to try to buy this option, but the money for some reason wasn't cleared. So I wasn't able to buy Hymenetics in my own brokerage account. But I have a friend who's who I'm handling her brokerage account for the moment. And I wanted, I said, okay, at 3.50 today, just before market closes, I'm going to buy an option for her. I'm going to buy an option for me. I couldn't buy it for myself, but it went through in her account, which is a Fidelity account. Notice the cost basis. This option cost $510.68. Here it is two days later. It's up to $710. That is a $199.32 gain, which means that in two days, her option is up 39.03%. So that is the state of this week's option picks and the first this month's option pick. So far, guys, you're seeing some incredible gains on your money, whether it would be 20%. 40%, 130%, 39%, okay? Um, for those getting this month's option pick, like you know, it's going to be one a month. But for those who want more, go to my Patreon account. You'll see it on Uncle Dwayne's watch list, the homepage of my YouTube channel. You'll see the link for my Patreon account. I also heard from a few people that they went into the account and they were not seeing the 
option for this week's option picks? Well, possibly because it wasn't published at the time. I thought it was. I went back in and checked, and I published it. So if you went in and you didn't see it before, go back and check now. And you'll probably see the option. If you don't, just drop a comment and let me know. So that's it for the results of this week's option pick, guys. I look forward to speaking to you in another video, and have a great night.